Welcome back. As I mentioned earlier, today we will be hosting Egyptian poet Iman Aliwa, who will be telling us about her feelings as an Egyptian woman, as an artist, as a poet, about the inauguration of the new Suez Canal and how she felt about uh, this uh, new project. It's always good to have you with us, uh, Iman. Thank you very much. Thank Hello, you for Hala. coming. Thank you. The pleasure is mine. Thank you. And I'd like to congratulate you, congratulate every single uh, Egyptian. Uh, on the occasion of this great event of this mega project of the uh, of the new, new Suez Canal. Thank you very yes, much. First, we're going to take a look at your profile, then we'll be right back. Thank Stay you. with us. her feelings, share with you, of course, dear viewers, uh, her, few, her feelings as an Egyptian woman, as an Egyptian artist about the inauguration of the new Suez Canal. How did you feel? Uh, you know, when somebody, uh, people call poet, it's speechless. Mm. You know, it's all in your heart, deep in your soul, just speechless. Which, what, which words would describe uh, these heartbeats deep inside mm. you? Mm -hmm. Which which ones or which ones or which ones? I mean, um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, it happened that I, w I went here downtown the, the, the night before the inauguration. Uh, I really saw happiness everywhere. I'm not exaggerating. Believe me, this is what I felt. These were the vibes, the energy. It was in the air. Uh, exactly, precisely. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like uh, at night. Lights were everywhere. It, was, it wasn't only the decorations, but people, people, the people in the street celebrating the event. Uh, uh, I don't know, I felt as if the streets were uh, speaking, talking, rejoicing. Mm -hmm. We're happy. At last, at last, there is a dream, uh, that, uh, uh, a tangible dream. Here it is, uh, done on time. 100% uh, Egyptian. Precisely, 100% Egyptian with the money of uh, Egyptian people. No external loans, no external debts, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, head high. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, a national pride. How shall I, uh, I say? But you expressed uh, this uh, through a poem. Uh, I did. Mm -hmm. I did, and it, it's, it's, it's a sort of, uh, it's a symbolic poem, of course. Um, this one. I'll read it first, but before doing so, I just have uh, one small uh, uh, point to make clear. I'm talking about a very special eagle here, and uh, um, uh, it's known that eagles can fly up to uh, the altitude of 10,000 feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, just yes. uh, because here I'm talking a bit yeah, about just something to related. It to yes, the indeed. <laughs> okay, I say, our glorious bride dressed in bright white, twinkling red and black, catching any sight. Escorted in her sky, her precious eagle flies high. What a visionary eye, clear greatest night. No matter how heavy a storm is, how wild, our eagle won't lose faith, won't ever hide. Spreading his wings, he flies, storm swings, 
he sings greater height aren't you my guide when our precious eagle gets a bit tired rejuvenating his powers comes from inside one day or two not stating a few then again will pursue a very righteous right some very strange birds are full of pride for flying 10 feet without a single slide wow how are you dears gonna cause him fears do you think that here gravity is defied our precious eagle replied i am by the side of peace loving beings of any kind i just don't understand not giving a hand to the one helping you stand tall upright the bride has the pride to save us despite our challenges sounds true ain't i right her loving is the principle by which we're to abide if willing to continue breathing worldwide thank you Wow, that uh, this was, is, I mean, uh, that was so uh, nice. Thank you, thank you, my dear. Because you you uh, compared Egypt to the eagle who, who's, who's the bride and the eagle. It's it's, uh, it, it's it, at the end of the flag. Because the eagle is in the flag in the Egyptian. Precisely. Flag. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's the it's it's one whole picture. Okay, this is I saw a a, a a bride, a beautiful one, a shining one, a glorious one, and protected by her eagle, the very spe special uh, uh, one. And uh, uh, this is our pride, this is our national pride, this is our beloved country. Um, this is how I, I wanted to express myself. And it was very obvious, yeah, uh, dear Hala, I wanted also to cast the light very quickly on very few, very, very few minority who are still, you know... They have doubts. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, just if, if you still have doubts, with all due respect, mm -hmm. okay, you need to sit together with yourself and dig deep, very deep actually, mm -hmm. very deep mm -hmm. inside your soul. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is it so? Mm -hmm. uh, if you allow me to, to, to share with you something that happened, uh, the day actually of, uh, of the celebration, the 6th of August, of course, this August, I had something, something very important to get out of my uh, house to do. Uh, and I met, a, uh, uh, with all due respect to him, Yani, a very simple worker. Mm. And I kept uh, playing your role, actually, with him asking questions. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. he, 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 he was in front of the TV watching, not only him, actually. Everyone when, was Believe me, yes. yes. Everyone Where, was around the, the screen. Yeah, virtu I, would, I don't want to say virtually, I have to say, but yani, virtually everywhere. And with passion, with love, with pride. Yes. Okay, I asked one, I picked one, I asked him, are you happy? He said, yes, of course. I said, why, yes, of course. I know, but I just wanted to, you know, you to want get him the to speak out. Precisely. Yeah. Uh, because, uh, I mean, um, this is beneficial. This is a great uh, product that has been uh, done. Um, I asked him, what about those who are still not sure about, you know, it's, uh, it's a minority, I'm sure, but mm. I mean, even, even those, hey, mm. I wanted to know his opinion. He told me a sentence, dear Hala. I mean, allow me to say it in Arabic and then we'll translate it. Okay. Words of wisdom. I mean, if, if, if you don't rejoice for, 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 for the happiness of your country, how come you're an Egyptian then? Mm. Okay. And if you, didn't, it, if you don't feel sorry or and, share and the sorrow opposite, with precisely. your country, okay. then you're not a Yes, Egyptian. indeed. Mm. Uh, um, a huge investment, a mega investment, and return on investment is to follow. And as said, uh, it is only one drop, uh, I mean, um, one step, I mean, and lots and lots and lots are still to follow. But, I mean, here is the beginning of a positive cycle. What, why not getting this very positive spirit. Yes, and exploiting this positive spirit. Exactly. Speaking of which, Iman, now uh, everyone is talking about uh, the new project, but from the perspective of the economic uh, uh, investment uh, return from the political aspect, uh, Egypt's status in the region and in the whole world, 
but uh, not everyone is talking about the cultural uh, dimension uh, of this new era for Egypt. The project in itself is not just a project. It, uh, it marks a new beginning for Egypt. It marks a new Egypt. A new Egypt requires everyone to play his or her role as Egyptian. Of course. So you as an artist, you have a role to play. Me mm -hmm. as a media person, I have a role to play. Now we need to reconsider and revamp everything that we have been doing in the past and start thinking anew. This is a new Egypt, this is a new Very beginning. Well said, and Very well said. Yeah, yes. we, need to, we need to reconsider this from a new perspective, from a rejuvenated exactly. perspective, yes. if I may say. Exactly. So you as an artist, how do you see this new Egypt for artists, for poets, and for Egyptian women? Uh, uh, at the beginning and at the end, the artists, the, the, we're all human beings, okay? Uh, maybe the, the, the artists are known to be a, a bit more sensitive, mm -hmm. okay? So they get touched uh, uh, deeper, in a deeper sense, or they get, get touched more than the, 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 the ordinary person. Though I believe in each one in his or her domain or field is an artist, is a specialist, as you exactly uh, said uh, right now. Um, it's again, we're, we'll, we'll go back to the positive cycle, Yahala. We want. Uh, uh, yani, uh, you know when you're full of energy yes. going to an extreme being a bit hyper I want to produce I want I mean uh, here I mean uh, here is a, uh, a proof that when Egyptians set their minds on something they can do it precisely mm. okay uh, why uh, yani, I'm, I'm having this and that and that project why won't I start them right now why uh, uh, wouldn't we work properly as a team? You know, having yani, the, the, the wheels, uh, you know, uh, exactly, that will rotate in the right direction and with more uh, um, momentum, yes. let me say, a more harmo har harmonious mm. uh, uh, momentum. Yes. Uh, uh, I hope I see this everywhere, and it should actually be, be everywhere. Looking for... Uh, to, to defy gravity, to defy gravity, let's not get negative, let's not pick on every single, you know, perfection doesn't exist underneath the sun, okay? Yes. But, I mean, excellence, we're trying to do things in, uh, in an excellent way. Okay. And why would it be? We're talking now. <laughs> I mean, let's <laughs> well, let's I know, I hope, make uh, things yes, better. I, I certainly hope that, and I certainly hope that Egyptian women would play a, a, a more positive role, of course, especially that of we are course. approaching the parliamentary elections. Egyptian women have a great role to play. You as an artist, you have a great role to play, but I would like to thank you very much for coming today. Thank you, my dear. Imanadiwa, thank you very much for thank coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank you, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for being with us in this edition of Women's World. We'll be meeting you again next week, same time. Till then.